Minister, um, I think everyone accepts that we can't have a, a traditional leaving cert uh, as we had in 2019 and, and previous years. Uh, but I think it's also important that students get absolute clarity quickly uh, on the format uh, of this uh, year's Leaving Cert. Now, they do acknowledge the, the provisions that have been made uh, in the form uh, of more choice on the examination papers, uh, and, um, but they don't feel that it's enough to reflect the additional challenges that they're facing as a result of COVID-19 and as they experienced throughout their, their senior cycle. And I think it is important uh, that that uh, is reflected uh, in an alternative uh, Leaving Cert that is presented to students. Minister, I have here correspondence that I received from uh, St Coon's uh, College in Casa Blakeney. Uh, where they point out over the last two years that there's significant disruption in relation to COVID-19. And the students point out that they've missed important in-class learning uh, and are continuing to miss valuable class time due to contracting the virus, waiting for PCR tests, and also having to isolate themselves due to being close contacts. And it's not just students, it's also uh, the teachers uh, that have missed out and as a result of that missing out on the in-class uh, interaction. Uh, and in fact, in that particular school, a small uh, rural secondary school uh, in East Galway, there were multiple positive cases uh, last November and the school had to move uh, with teaching the Leaving Cert class online as a result of that over and above some of the issues experienced uh, in other schools. Another student uh, who has written to me has pointed out that she is now rushing against the clock to complete projects and portfolios, as well as finishing coursework assigned for sitting this year's Leaving Cert, as well as trying to prepare uh, for the mocks. Now, Minister, as you know, last uh, May I raised concerns regarding the class uh, of 2022 with you here on the floor of the House. And I pointed out to you in relation to the students, about one-fifth of them, uh, that hadn't actually sat uh, a junior cert uh, exam and that that needed to be taken into account in terms of whatever provisions were going to be put in place for an alternative leaving cert uh, this year. In November, I brought it up here again with the Taoiseach on the floor of the House, pointing out that Leaving Cert students had contacted me at that particular point in time, feeling that they were being completely forgotten about by the Department of Education and that they weren't recognising the true impact of COVID-19. And that was last November, never mind the disruption that we've seen in December uh, and in January. And at that point, students were saying that they were incredibly behind uh, and stressed out uh, as a result uh, of uh, the impact of COVID-19. Now, students at the moment are facing into oral exams, uh, mock exams, practical exams, and they do need absolute clarity quickly in relation to this. Now, I accept that the Taoiseach here last week indicated that there may be challenges for the third year in a row of predicted grades in terms of having an impact on the capacity within the third level system. And that was reflected at the weekend when uh, Mr Jim Miley, the Director General of the Irish University Association, again flagged issues uh, with uh, the uh, hybrid system. And look, none of us want to see a situation where students have to get into college based on, on random selection. Uh, and I accept that there are challenges there in terms of grade inflation. You know, a five-fold increase in the number of H1s since 2019, you know, does highlight problems with the existing system. Also, I accept that there's a discrepancy there. If you have a student sitting seven exams, competing with another student that sits three exams and takes predicted grades in the other four because the uh, school teacher has already told them the grade that they're going to get, it does leave them at a distinct advantage compared to the student that's doing uh, seven exams. So except we cannot have the leaving cert that we had uh, last year. We cannot have the same system, but we do need an alternative mechanism and surely, Minister, we can work 
some imagination to give a fair and balanced uh, system for the students this year. Thank you very much.